Welcome to the Principles of Martial Art Motion, where you endeavour to help you with your martial art. I'm Colin, this is Simon. Today we're going to look at the four successful ways to offend. Basically this video is how to hit people from a time perspective. A lot of the ideas for this video come from both George Silver and the Licking Tower method methodology. There are four ways to hit someone. The first is be the first to strike. Second is at the beginning of the agent's strike. Third is at the ending of the agent's attack. Fourth is by avoiding his attack. And we'll throw in a fifth potential, which is in the middle of his attack. So let's begin by examining the first one, be the first to strike. The easiest example is the ambush. If he doesn't see it, he cannot defend it. You may run into legal strife with this tactic, but we've mentioned it for the sake of completeness. However, there are examples where this will work. For example, if I'm within the reaction time of my opponent, I can do this. Uh, sometimes we need some sort of distraction. <laughs> My opponent simply may be clumsy or I get lucky. And of course my opponent may be too well trained in the rules of his combat sport that he cannot defend illegal targets. For example, some martial arts don't allow punches to the head, for example. So a punch to the head to such a practitioner may simply go undefended or be done poorly. Examining the second one, at the beginning of the agent's attack, if my opponent telegraphs his attack or otherwise wastes motion, I can simply attack him before he gains appreciable force. The easy part is hitting your opponent. The hardest part is not being hit yourself. In this case, we've both been hit. You need to drill this idea yourself, and more importantly, how to lock out your opponent's potential counter. So if we do that one again, there's an example. Examining the third one, at the ending of the patient's attack. Here, our opponent's force is on the wane. It is also when it's at its most predictable. Note, your opponent hasn't ended, he is ending. This is the hardest of all to get right. But unfortunately, if your opponent is attacking with decent timing, pressure and structure, you will have little choice but to attempt this version. The fourth type is avoiding your opponent's attack. When your opponent attacks, you void it so that it misses and then hit him. In our opinion, this is best done against the wild or angry attack. In some respects, it is similar to the second one, but the main difference is power generation. As such, this method takes some nerves to pull off. You must not intercept your opponent's attack, and you must move in such a way that his attack is close. Now you may be wondering why it is important to not intercept and yet keep his attack close. The problem is elastic recoil, especially when considering the haymaker. Again, versus the nerve just to move out of range with no interception. Okay. 
Now, the fifth type to consider is in the middle. Now, what works is what works. However, do not consider this type to be reliable. This is because your opponent is at his most adaptable. You are liable to get fooled by an irregular motion or faint. If you enjoyed that, please subscribe.